Edo State. Guys, this update now the most trendy video today for Edo State. Well, guys, before I go along and watch this full video, the current deputy governor of Edo State, Philip Shaibu, my people, this man say he want contest for Edo State governorship election comes next year, 2024. Guys, we now don't already know the saga when it's on ground right now. You understand? At least Philip Shaibu with the current governor of Edo State, Godwin Ogegase or Baseki. The two of them now, we to not take compensate the Edo people will be like saying they vote to now in since 2016. Next year, now they knock eight years without nothing. The only thing we want to compensate them, we are going to demolish their building. How can you imagine the common people, common masses? Houses where they feel build, a whole governor of a state go to demolition. Well, the only advice when I will give the current deputy of Edo State, Philip Shaibu, just rest for this your saga because you're not drama, you're not comedian deputy governor, you understand? Make you see allow this governorship of a thing. Make you see allow and travel go Edo Central. Make you see allow and travel go Edo Central. You now understand? We already see the, the meeting when our. Uh, the energy of A Salango do with uh, the Oba of Benin the other day. Everybody see the video, you understand? And Oba of Benin so much appreciate that visit when be like say, we go visit them. Well, I know they talk this thing based on saying that we are from combat. We have to do this life now equal balance. You understand? Because if this hand was this hand, it go clean way. This governorship of a team for Edo State make it still travel go Edo Central. Philip Shaibu, what do you need again? What till you need again? You understand? So guys, and what is shocked me inside this video? Some landlord and landladies for inside beneath there for Edo State, my people. <laughs> they say Philip Shaibu must contest as governor. No, they say if you not contest, say they go drag and go court. Now so now go see and drag. When I go even tear off for a neck, when I they drag and they go like melu melu. Well, guys, may not be like say I to talk, neither are they waste to not. I make not just watch this video. And I beg, as soon as they watch, I make you let me know what you think for the comment section. And also, I beg, make you just hear me they press the share button. We'll go sooner for the next update. Coming out soon. Respect, one love, guys. I don't state deputy governor, right? Honorable comrade Philip Shaibu, don't describe himself as a political activist and not to serve the people. And the members of Idunwei Landlords Association, Arogba, Benin City, who beg him to contest for Edo governorship seat for 2024. And if he say no, they go carry and go court to force him. Shaibu talk this one when he hosts the executive council of the association led by the chairman of comrade Samuel Igbinoba for government house Benin City. Oga Shaibu talk say he go continue to look up to God to guide and direct a political journey and believe say everybody get equal rights for society. And that night in focus since in years for school as student activists. Thank you for those kind words and for saying that you have been monitoring my, my, my progression. I thank, I thank you for that because um, I, it's only God that has helped to sustain that good. Obviously, it should, God will not come and just say, uh, my name is God. No. He uses people, both the ones to do and the ones who do, to make it happen. And I'm happy that uh, I'm scratchily seeing all those that God has been using to pray, to sustain me, even though I know it too physically. So I want to thank God for all your lives and continue to seek for that. Not least important for the prayer. The prayer is the most important because that is what has been sustaining us. Uh, because you are in the most key water of politics where your best friend today becomes your enemy the next day. And uh, you are dining and whining with enemies, friends, and loved ones. So I'm able to determine who is the enemy, who is the loved one, uh, you know. But you are, you are able to come out of it. It's not that one is a superstar. No, it's because of the dark prayer that we will pray, shielding us from the bad and helping to make the good to, to come to pass. And for me, I'm always consist I'll be consistent uh, in terms of what I want to achieve. Because uh, in, one, in all my statements, I have always Peach, one thing, love. And I've only just seen the last meeting was finished. 
have uh, mentioned it. And if you check with me, everything that we have made in the world, I'm not to If you don't respect and obey the greatest of God's commandment, love. And love is can be defined in many ways. It can be defined with lust, it can be defined with God's own definition of all of this. And why you want to know what that love is really? Is where God says, love your neighbor as yourself. And that means you cannot hurt your neighbor because you can't hurt yourself. So whatever you can do that you feel is good for you, is what he's saying you should do for your neighbor. So that means if you can actually do those things that are good for you to your neighbor, the multiplier effect is that anybody you meet, you have to do those things. And why are we going really? A lot of people have reasons for being government. But why I am in government is to fight oppression and to give services. And my life has been a life of... I'm a very quiet, gentle person. But unfortunately for me, there's some calling that I know God has called me to do, fight oppression. So in my being, that my quiet nature, something triggers in me when I see oppression. And that is the only, that is the part people are saying, ah, this guy is a fighter. No, I'm not really a fighter. Really. I'm naturally quiet, gentle. When you meet me I'm at home, my wife can tell you, I'm the most peaceful, quiet person at home. But if you want to see the other side, oppress anybody in my presence. Something just gets me to buy the fights. I love to buy the fights. God has always given me that energy. So that's why I always tell people, I say, like, it's like that's my innermost calling. That's the calling God has called me to fight oppression. So, and that is what actually has made me an activist. Why people call themselves politicians? I call myself a, a political activist. I see myself more as a political activist. And that means, how do we make the system work? I fought government as a student union activist. And I'm conscious of the fact that I fought government. And why was, what was the fight for? We are looking for a country, a government that can make a system and a egalitarian society. And that means how wealth can be redistributed. How people can actually feel themselves as part of a system. Ogasha Ibu Kosti Talk say, in day politics, to make fellow human beings day comfortable and live up to government expectation, like what he want government to do before. He Kosti Talk say, as long as he remain Philip Shaibu, he go continue to do God work anywhere he day. And also promise the association say, government go address the association request for Transformer and make their always pray for Governor Godwin Obaseki and himself. And for me, I am in politics for service and in politics to make a difference. I'm conscious of my past and I don't want the to be reminded that you used to fight government to do X. You used to fight government and you can do this. So I'm conscious that those things I say government can do, government really can do them. So it's my lot to make sure that I live to that expectation that those things I was challenging government to do, government really can do it. So, so why you see me do what I do, I'm doing it because I'm conscious of where I'm coming from and I'm not ready to change, no matter who the person is, I'm not ready to change. And uh, God has been helping me through your prayers. And there's a lot of things to do. There's a lot of things, a lot to be done. The political system is so, so, so dirty that we need to just sustain our prayers. Because if it is not cleaned up, we'll continue to lament. Um, I, I, I want to really appreciate you and to let you know, as far as I'm concerned, me, Philip Shiloh, I pledge to do the will of God in everything. And by the grace of God, please pray for our governor. Pray for our governor. You know, why you need to pray for our governor is that what we see every day, what we see every day is God that is sustaining us. So, in this, all our support, in this, all our prayers. We, we, we have. Uh, this administration have about uh, 16 months 
17 more to go. We need to finish well and finish strong. Yeah, I've seen this request. I we have similar requests. Like when I called PS just now, I was asking Alpha the other one. We we'll look at it. We we'll look at it and see how we can uh, see. You know, this transformer thing is becoming a major problem for us because the private people that have taken over this structure are supposed to be the one buying transformer and doing all this. But Unfortunately, the kind of transaction we pray this president will correct those things with the signing into law, the electricity uh, bill. Because every transformer that you buy now is an investment in somebody else's company. Immediately you buy it and put it there. You cannot even touch it. If you touch it, the law will catch up, they will arrest you. But immediately they put that light. It becomes their property. Who we'll buy transformer? But well, you that we are buying the transformer to increase your uh, your your capacity and capital in your become you, in your company. Let us have an agreement. Who we'll buy? Since we are not buying, who we'll buy? How much are we owing you? Let's agree on how much you feel the transformer is. Who we'll buy the transformer? Then you can spread the the our charges. Through a period to 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 recoup this money, and it becomes your property like it's already your property, but they will not agree. And if we continue to say we will not buy, we will be in darkness because the darkness even with the transformer is uh, uh, four, four hours in twenty four hours. And but at least that four hours twenty four at least at least enjoy the benefit. At least the fridge can get things cold till I try to scream